the level of analysis you can run on an MPS solution on analytics is unparalleled. And we set up the MPS directory back in 2015. And seven years later, we've got all of the main MPS providers plugging their data into our database, well over 70 of them now. And that equates to well over 3,000 MPS solutions. And once you've got that data plugged into analytics, there's so much stuff you can do with that data. And this is being recorded to explain not only how you access those MPS solutions in the first place, but then what you can do and some ideas and what you might want to think about doing and creating for different clients. So first and foremost, how do you get access to the MPS, um, these MPS solutions on the system? If you go to portfolio tools on the left hand side, uh, click on the MPS directory, that will give you this a very long list of all of the different providers uh, on our database. And if you scroll down and select the one you're interested in looking at, let's just say Investec for this case, it will give you a load of information about who they are and what they do. And then at the very bottom down here, it says activate me. If you click on activate me, it will ask you for some details on who you are, the business, etc., and you click on submit. Essentially what happens in the background is that then gets fed across to the provider. They sign it off, yay or nay. Clearly they're gonna say yes if you're an advisor. Um, and the moment they've done that, all of their MPS solutions will be fed into your analytics account. Now, theoretically, that shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds, but there is a human involved in this process, so just bear with them, give them maybe 24 hours, um, and you will get an alert the moment that data is live. Once it is live, where will you find it? Well, anywhere in analytics that asks you to analyze a portfolio or asks you to select a portfolio, they'll be in there. So under that portfolio tab, for example, on the main screen, if I open up my list, you'll get these big bold letters and all of the providers will simply be listed. So I've only got enable, I'm only enabled for one set of models, which is our own FE model portfolio solutions. Um, and they're all in here. Uh, when you click on a model portfolio and click on add, it will come into your main screen. Now, if I click on the model, if I then load this screen up, this will look inside the model. And those of you that have built portfolios before in analytics, you'll usually follow the same process whereby you're selecting funds on the left and simply adding them to the right hand side into your portfolio. A DFM MPS is slightly different because they're making so many changes. Some will make changes ad hoc, some monthly, some quarterly, etc. Now, every single time they've ever made a change will be listed. So again, this kind of transparent window where I can go back right the way to when they started, or in this case, way back in 2008, I can see all of those changes that are being made. And I can be rest assured that when I go and look at the performance figures on analytics, that's all gonna be included as are the DFM charges. So if your DFM provider is charging 0.25 or 0.275, et cetera, all of that is again baked into the performance when you're looking at it. Uh, in addition to that, if you scroll down, it also gives you the diversification benefit as well. Automatically, it will tell you straight away how diversified that portfolio is on a low, medium and high basis. Um, back to the main screen, I can then start messing around with charts, maybe comparing it against various different indices or sectors or other solutions. And a nice little chart to consider is when you're charting an MPS solution, because it gives you all of those different changes that have been made, i.e. these little squares on the line, you can then chart what would have happened had no changes taken place. So under the options tab at the very top, if you click on chart options, it lists out all of the changes that MPS providers made. Click on the one you want to look at and it grows a line away from it. So in this case, I've asked it to show me what would have happened if this provider, i.e. FEI, had never made changes back on this date. And it therefore grows a nice little blue line away from it, allows me to run my kind of compliance and due diligence on this solution, but equally allows me to go back to the client and say, well, look, these changes the MPS providers making on your behalf and ultimately what you're paying for is clearly having a, a positive effect on the performance. A couple of other things to consider. Um, you could also go across back to the portfolio tools tab on the left hand side, go to our production in yield calculators or MIFID calculators. They work with portfolios and, and both will essentially aggregate all of those costs and charges you or the client are paying and then it will project that. So, for example, on a on a MIFID calculator, it looks at the transactional, the incidental, the MIFID OCF. It looks at the DFM costs, the platform costs, the advisor costs, and puts together a really nice little report for you and the client that explains in pound, shillings, and pence, or in euros if you're using the, the European version of analytics, how much is being paid for each one of these uh, different types of charges and the drag on that performance. And however many years you want to project over, an illustration of all the different costs and charges you're paying or the client's paying uh, each year. Now you can also do a, a comparison as well if you're trying to convince someone to move across from A to B. 
Um, a couple of other reports as well on the right hand side that are quite useful. Most of the reports sitting over here on the right hand side will ask you to analyze a portfolio. And clearly, if you've got access to the MPS solutions, they'll be uh, available for you to select. Um, a couple of nice ones in here, for example, um, our custom portfolio report builder. I can very quickly stitch an MPS solution into this, use some of the templates I'm creating. Obviously, my logo comes into it. I can add a nice little commentary. And then underneath that, this is all of the MPS data that we hold on the database, not just for the overall solution, but all the underlying funds that MPS solution invests into. Um, the investment planner is our risk profiling tool. So again, those of you that use the, the risk profiler on analytics, again, all of this feeds into it. So if I'm trying to recommend a particular investment solution, in this case, the FE Invest Model Portfolio 3, it will tell me, you know, whatever MPS solution I'm using, it will tell me where on that one to five scale it sits um, and therefore also against the client's existing solution. Where do they sit? And using this to, again, to justify why I'm moving um, my client's assets from, from one to the other. Um, and just finally, uh, there's something called a medium scan on analytics as well. Back on that main screen, that portfolio had a little fact sheet icon. Click on that and it will give you a nice little overview of everything you want to know about that portfolio. Again, how the overalls perform, but also all the underlying holdings, the ESG ratings of each holding, the asset allocation, the regional split, and some nice little charts, um, each of which you can flip into uh, different charts if you don't want to look at these ones. Uh, and finally, uh, a portfolio comparison report where I'm taking a proposed solution versus an existing solution. In this case, my FE model and the system within seconds will quickly compare the two side by side, looking at the performance, the volatility, the asset allocation, uh, etc. Um, so that's there are some ideas of some of the things you can do with that data once it's plugged in. But clearly, those of you that have been using analytics for some time, you would have used all these different features on the right hand side. And pretty much almost without exception, every single one of those can be run on an MPS or a series of MPS solutions once you've plugged that data in via that MPS uh, directory tab. Hope you found that useful. Um, as ever, on the left hand side over here, any questions about this, click on contact us. Um, if there are MPS providers that we don't have access to, feel free to contact us and let us know and we'll reach out to them. Um, and equally, you've got chat with an expert in the bottom right hand corner, which is live chat. So you can seamlessly uh, liaise with our help desk uh, on the fly.